This week, we're talking about sunglasses. This week, I discovered the point of the selfie. You might think the selfie was just the most witless, narcissistic phenomenon of a witless and narcissistic era. In fact, taking pictures of yourself on your mobile phone does serve a purpose, and that is when you are buying sunglasses. Because until now, when you were buying sunglasses, you either had to look at your reflection through a glass darkly, and then you can't tell if the color suits you, or you had to pull them down and look over the rim, in which case you can't see what you look like them at all. If you take a selfie, then you can actually see what you look like in the sunglasses before you buy them, which, for anyone who's seen the price tag on a pair of sunglasses lately, is a very good thing. Wearing Gary sunglasses gets a bad press. It is kind of synonymous with being a bit of a burk. Actually, I would speak in defense of the garish sunglasses. Sunglasses like this, kind of oversized, ooh, I think I'm a movie star kind of sunglasses, they lift your outfit, you can wear really normal clothes, you can go on holiday and wear the same vest dress over your bikini every day for two weeks, but if you've got really full-on statement sunglasses, it looks like you're rocking a look every day, so it's actually very practical. Now, I'm going to have to take these off now because I feel like a complete burk talking to you with sunglasses on. Um, these ones here are Linda Farrow, who make beautiful sunglasses, but we've got quite a few other of this summer's really nice sunglass styles to show you. One look that's getting a lot of airplay this summer is the kind of square, kind of slightly big square look, what I think of as the 3D glasses shape of sunglasses. The shape takes a bit of getting used to as to what it looks like on your face. Anyone who's ever looked in the mirror while wearing those 3D glasses knows it's not the most obviously flattering shape in the way that the, the big old movie star sunglasses are generally quite flattering on most face shapes. But once you get used to it, it kind of looks good and it's quite fun. Um, Stella McCartney do amazing animal print ones this summer. Those are my absolute favorite ones of this summer. And these ones are also very beautiful. These are retro super future with this kind of Japanese-y um, design all around the rim. And then in the same vein, these are by Prism. These are kind of camouflage, which I guess is some kind of surreal joke about sunglasses, I don't know. But anyway, I think they look quite nice. Perspex is a very hot material this summer. You can see Perspex shoes, Perspex bags, and there are a lot of Perspex sunglasses as a result. Um, these ones here are Paul Smith, I believe. Yes, they're Paul Smith. And um, really lovely kind of nude color that kind of fades out around the bottom. And these ones again in a kind of gold tint, that same Perspex fabric. With sunglasses, you do have to get sunglasses that are actually going to protect your eyes, but that doesn't actually mean spending huge amounts of money. Um, a lot of the high street sunglasses will have the good labeling on them. You just have to check before you buy a pair of sunglasses for sort of $2.99. They're not going to make you go blind because that's not a bargain. But bearing that in mind, these ones are River Island. Please excuse the comedy nose, which is in fact a security tag, which we're unable to take off. Um, and this sort of big, round, slightly iris apple shape of glasses, is uh, that's the look if you really want to make a statement this summer, especially in emerald green. And then lastly, if outsize and round isn't statement enough for you, then try hexagonal and gold, also by River Island. Mm -hmm.